everyone, it's me. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to your weekly prediction. Let's get started right away. Don't want to talk that much in the beginning. If you want to skip the uh, shuffling as well, then hey, feel free to move over directly to the description box down low, where, which is where you find the timestamps. And if you ever want a personal reading, uh, you can contact me anytime, okay? I will leave you the information, how to get in touch with me as well in the box. So there will be three parts to choose from. This is a timeless reading, the next seven to 10 days. You can dedicate each pile to a certain department of your life. Uh, example giving love, business, career, money, uh, friendship, family issues, whatsoever. Um, these are the piles, number one number two and number three and take what resonates okay this is a general reading it's a public reading so i read for quite a few people everyone is at a different place literally right some of you are german others from the uk from the us from india iran uh south africa and you know like so all kinds of people spread all over the world so Take what resonates, take everything with a grain of salt, you guys. Be realistic, be objective. And yeah, if maybe sometimes, you know, it's just one single magical sentence that you are supposed to hear, right? Um, and that's okay. So let's get started. Pie number one. How are you guys? How are you doing? Um, I'm using the Chuck Spezzano love deck today. This is not a love reading, but I love the cards and I really want to use them today. So we will, um, yeah, we will use them as a general deck. Okay. Even though these, this is a love deck, you can also use them as a general normal deck. And I want to ask spirit, what do we need to know for you? What's coming in? during the next seven to ten days let's see pile number one this is your pile what do we need to know mm -hmm. bad guy 48 23 to fall in love uh -huh. okay so watch out whom you are in love with who you fall in love with mm -hmm. being in love right having a crush on someone who true love. Okay. So this is all about love. Okay. Be careful who you contact, be careful who you connect with. Okay. Um, and then this is the healing card. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm getting a story here. The story that I see is that you probably have fallen for the wrong ones. Again and again and again, repetitively, if you know what I mean, okay? It never really, you know, has been the right one for you, which is definitely frustrating. And not just that. I mean, it's also, it's painful, right? It's painful. Um, I don't know. I don't hope so. But probably for some of you, you've been through abuse. Someone lied to you. Maybe you have always fallen for the ones who are already taken, not available, uh, where there was a huge distance all across the world or, you know, things like that. Um, and you probably have lost faith that you, it could ever be different, right? But it can. And I see healing coming in for you. I mean, this is a big message. Um, having in mind that this is just a weekly reading um but well this is what comes up okay this is what wanted to 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 come into your field today so we take it okay definitely we take it so i feel spirit will connect you with true love real love spirit will make you believe in love again you will probably fall in love with someone or maybe something right love is a huge thing and it's not just about people it you can be in love with your purpose you can be in love with yourself maybe this is a self-love message maybe this message is here to remind you that even though you have not yet found the one for you you can still love yourself and mother yourself and take care for yourself and your, for your business. You can focus on what you believe in. You can focus on your job, your career. You know what I mean? So love is not just sexual, romantic love. 
very often we read the cards in this way, but having in mind that this is supposed to be um, a weekly general reading and not a love reading per se, I would still say that healing is taking place for you. You will feel more worthy for love. You will probably, yes, fall in love with someone or something, as I said before, and you will definitely have a good time. I think uh, what comes out very straightforward here with these cards is that you are about to have a good week, okay? You're gonna have a good time, right? You know this song? <laughs> I don't know who that thinks, but um, it's a pop song, yeah? So, yeah, and also maybe you want to listen to uplifting music. Maybe you want to dress yourself in a positive way. You want to show yourself in a different way. Maybe you have been through a hard time, which is why we see the healing card. But it's getting better, okay? It's getting better for you guys, pile number one. So what about your tarot card? Mm -hmm. Exactly. I think it came out in reverse. Like, is it upright, downwards, sideways, whatever. Seven of Wands. I, I think this card came up in reverse. But even if not, um, you coped with a lot. You've been through a lot. And it's getting better now, okay? You can make it. You can manage it. Yes, it's hard. Yes, it's tough. It's not just fun. Let's be clear here. Let's be honest here. But you can do it, okay? I also feel like you probably have to make a decision, um, you look at this person, they are wearing two different type of shoes. Yeah, not the same shoes here. So maybe you're dealing with two big things. Maybe you are very much into your business and at the same time you are trying to find the love of your life, right? And both takes a lot of engagement and energy and time. Sometimes it's simple as that, right? It's, it's a time thing. And also what's needed is divine timing, isn't it? Um, to fall in love, right, it has to be the right time, the right place, and the right people, I would say. But you can make it. You can deal with it, pile number one. Definitely see this here. Take time for yourself. Meditate regularly. Any other message that wants to pop up? Yeah, and have trust, have faith. Love is out there for you. Even though you may have not yet found it, even though you have been through difficult situations, spirit is taking care for you now, okay? I feel like you are being um, guided towards a new dimension, a new level, okay? This is a new chapter opening up for you in terms of love and yeah relationships in general so be flexible right be flexible i know you have a lot to cope with to deal with but yes you can you can manage it you are stronger than you think right and yeah if you need a break every now and then take a break and breathe right take a break again meditate connect yourself with yourself with the higher spirits and have faith, believe. Believe that there is someone out there for you. So this is probably a different message than we expected. Um, it is not so specific about the next seven to 10 days. I feel like this is more a general message. This is something that you needed to hear, especially to those who have lost faith in love or life in general. If you have been through dark times, um, know that these are coming to an end now, okay? You've been through the worst, so it's getting better now. There's a silver lining, there's a light at the end of the t tunnel, and healing will happen for you. And I love that. Yeah, bottom of the deck, the tenderness card. Be tender, be gentle to yourself. And let's, let's read this one from the book. Let's read this one from the book. Number 17, sweet 17, tenderness. Tenderness is an adept and delicate response from a hand that gives life because the love that is in it cherishes us. As much as we enjoy our own or any 
another givings now, so we are also able to savor it again later. Tenderness confirms our value and provides meaning, touching us with haunting sweetness. Tenderness is the play of love that comes about through intimacy. Intimacy, I'm sorry. This card means that you are about to touch or be touched in a way that enables the deepest part of you to open up to beautiful moments of endearment. You see, I'm, I'm telling you, you are about to fall in love, pal number one. You are called to give loving kindness, gentle consideration and humane affectionate care. As you give tender devotion, you will also feel deserving and open to such gifts yourself. You embrace and are embraced in such an exquisite manner that the strings of your soul tremble. Tenderness is coming to you, welling up from within or resonating with a sweet responsiveness coming your way. As you realize the worth of another person, you will approach them with tenderness. As another comes to you with the precious regard that you deserve, you will be blessed with nurturing and comfort. Yeah, so I feel tender times are about to arise for you and new chapters opening up. You will be, yeah, this is a call for love, I feel. I'm hearing this, literally. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing those words in front of my eye, my third eye. Call for love. I don't know what that means. I mean, this is a great slogan, right? Uh, this would be also, I don't know, maybe an affirmation for you. You know, love is calling you. Answer the call. Allow yourself to be more open, to be more tender, to be more gentle and uh, sensual with yourself and others, right? And yeah, this is what I see is coming in for you. So thank you so much, pal number one. I think I leave this here now. I think this was a huge, a big message. I hope you liked it. Leave a comment, right? Um, share, like, and subscribe so others can benefit from this reading as well. And I wish you only the best. I see you on the other side. Peace out and namaste. Pile number two. Pile number two, what do we need to know for you guys? I'm using this deck today, the Love Pack from Chuck Spezzano. This is not necessarily a love reading though, okay? This is a weekly prediction. This is all about what we need to know for the next seven to ten days. Maybe this is a love message, maybe it's not, okay? So we use this pack here as a general pack, not specifically as a love pack. So this is pile number two's message. What do we need to know for those who have chosen the second pile? This is the need to be special, the ego card, the risk card, the leap of faith, taking a risk, be courageous, be brave. This is the lovers, wow. I'm feeling drawn to the swans here, by the way. You will probably see swans next week. And then open your ears. What do they want to tell you? What else? Manipulation. Okay, so you don't want to be manipulated next week. Watch out who's calling you, who's getting in touch with you and just be aware of what they want, okay? What do you want? Why are you calling me, actually? You know, come on, let me know it. Be brave, tell the truth. Be clear here, okay? Don't let others use you. And then this is the communication card. So I feel like for you next week, the next seven to 10 days, part number two, let me just adjust the camera a little tiny bit. You are called to take a risk. You are called to be brave. If you feel like you want to contact someone or you want to call someone, then do it, okay? Just do it. Be brave, be courageous, make the first step. And maybe, who knows, maybe it's your turn anyways, right? Um, otherwise, it could be that someone is contacting you, asking you for um, reconciliation, I feel like. This could has to do with reconciliation for some of us. Right, um, especially with the lover's card, I feel like someone is about to contact you and this is a loving approach. 
right? Again, this is not necessarily about love per se. It could be about friendship. Let's just say um, a friend of yours, which you have lost contact with, or maybe, yes, there was a controversy, some kind of a fight, you know, and then both of you have been too, <laughs> too proud to make the first move, right? You wanted them to make the first move and they waited for you to make the first move, right? So I feel like this is coming into your field again, like this kind of a situation ship. And I feel chances are that this person is contacting you. Okay, just make sure that they are coming in with good intentions, okay? If this is a bad person, someone who hurt you a lot in the past, then it's your de your decision and your right to refuse this, you know, um, apology. What does the uh, tarot card says? Ooh, this is the death card. Huge transformation. And again... If there was a standstill situation, if you have lost contact with someone or something, you know, like the situation was kind of dead, so to say, since we saw the card coming out in reverse, I really, really feel tables are turning. Tables are turning here. Someone is coming in with loving intentions, okay? Or maybe you will contact someone with loving intentions. Go with the flow, you know, like another message for you is to just enjoy life. This is the happy, happy card and the go with the flow card. So just have a good time, you know, don't overthink something too much. You know, go with the flow, take it easy, be flexible and be happy. Probably you want to treat yourself you want to go to sauna or maybe to the beach. I don't know. Whatever you like, girls. Maybe you want to dance. Maybe you want to drink. Maybe you want to, I don't know, um, visit someone. Just, you know, like the key to happiness, you see, the key to happiness is in your hands. You choose. You decide. You are the captain. So I feel like this is a week which brings in a lot of healing right someone will take the leap of faith the situation will change tables are turning to the better of course right which is good news and again right um it's all up to you you hold the key to happiness in your own hands and then we see the no card in reverse which makes me think again that someone is coming back into your life someone is asking you to reconnect so please let me know if that is true. I'm really curious about this here. What else do we need to know? Pile number, pile number two. Is there any other message? The next seven to ten days, what do we need to know? Vivid. Yeah. Just make the best out of anything. Like, don't, you know, like, um, whatever you face next week, even though this might be a little tiny challenge or something, you know, catching up um, a cold or like having to deal with a boss who's in a bad mood, make the best out of it, okay? Um, don't let them manipulate you, right? Your good mood, your, yeah, your good mood, your attitude is not depending on other people's mood, right? Other people's opinions, Okay, be you, don't be them, be you. And if, if someone is waking up in a bad mood, like your boss or your colleagues or whatever, your husband, your best friend, that's them. That's what they have to take care for, not you, right? So please have that in mind, pile number two. What else? So you have an angel card and I'm reading it from the card. This is the nine of cups, the nine of emotions. This is a magical time in your life when wishes are granted and dreams come true. It may seem that good luck is following you, but actually these happy times are just reward for what, for being a loving and wonderful person. Okay, so this is karma paying back to you. Your angels are asking you to enjoy your life. You see, this is why we saw the happy, happy card. Enjoy your life and have more fun. 
Yeah, exactly. So this is your message, pan number two. You know, brief and to the point, and still at the same time very profound. Um, so feel free to rewind and listen to the same message again. Maybe you want to take some notes. Okay, so have your eyes open if there is someone um, trying to contact you, trying to communicate with you. I feel like this is someone that you already know, someone from your past, someone who is making a move, someone who's trying to pursue you with good intentions. We saw the lovers, right, which is good. Someone that you probably have good times with. So yes, maybe things happened and you said something and yes, they said something and it was like a little bit like, eh, you know, but now, um, I mean, it's up to you if you want it, but if you want it, um, jump over your ego, right? And give them a chance. Let's write out the wrongs, okay? Write out the wrongs. Turn a no into a yes again. Turn it around, right? If you want. Go with the flow, take it easy, chill, relax, have a good time. The key to happiness is in your hand. Don't allow others to manipulate you, to use you. And also try not to be affected so much by what other people think or feel or, you know, what attitude they have. Do they have a good mood or not? It's, it's them, right? You don't have to make it yours. They have to learn to deal with it. So this is it. This is your message. Thank you so much for listening. Um, if you ever want a personal reading, feel free to contact me. Otherwise, I see you on the other side. Peace out. Namaste. Last but not least, pile number three. This is rhyming, right? This is a rhyme. <laughs> okay, so I'm using this deck over here, the Love Pack by Chuck Spezzano, although this is not a love reading, okay? This is a general reading, it's a weekly reading. We just want to see what expects us, you know, what do we need to prepare for, what's coming in the next 7 to 10 days. It's a timeless reading, and if you ever want a personal reading, feel free to reach out. So, let's go. Part number 3, what do we need to know, what's coming in? Hmm, broken heart. old wounds. I'm getting a story right away. Loss. Jealousy. Ooh, heavy cards. I'm not gonna lie to you. Wrong attitude. Okay, you know what I'm getting here? Pan number three, you are being, um, you know, connected with the past. And I, f I see rejection, I see abandonment, I see pain. I think um, you will be, I don't know how to say it in English, I'm not a native speaker, so I just feel like you will um, deal with the past a lot. And yes, this is probably going to be a bit painful. Let's not lie about it. Let's not try to sugarcoat it. There is a reason for those cards to pop up, isn't it? So let's take them, let's try to understand them. What are these cards trying to tell us? What can we learn from these energies? So maybe you have been jealous or you will be jealous, right? Maybe you feel like you lost something. Right? Maybe yeah, someone broke up with you recently and you will still try to recover the next week right and you are facing these old wounds um and you are facing love sickness yeah let's say it the way it is i'm sorry but this is my channel here and i'm not taking out the bad cards before i do a reading uh, because this is not reflecting lo uh, life, right? And not love. I mean, love can be the most beautiful thing in the world, right? And at the same time, and this is a paradox, it can be the most ugly, painful thing ever. That's the thing. It's a paradox. 
it depends on where you're at. Sometimes you are on this side of the spectrum and sometimes on the complete opposite side. And I feel for you, pile number three, Spirit is trying to prepare you for a week where, you, yes, you will feel probably alone, probably rejected, probably abandoned. But I can tell you that there's always a light at the end of the shadow. Please believe me. You can ask anyone out there. We all have been there once and we all survived, right? So we learn and grow all the time and very often we learn via trial and error and also pile number three i don't know why but i have a question for you okay i have a question for you whenever you fall in love with someone or you have a difficult time and you don't know really what to do or there's a choice you don't know whether you i don't know you you should do this or that ask yourself this question Listen, the question is, is this choice supporting the lifestyle that I want? Go with this question. For the next 7 to 10 days, take this question and whatever you do, whatever you don't do, whatever you say, whatever you don't say, whatever you choose, whatever you don't choose, ask yourself this question, the back of your head, have this question. Is this choice really supporting the life that I want? Okay, so what does the tarot say? Eight of Wands. I feel like the card came out in reverse, but anyways, it's a time card, we all know it. This is probably the one and only time card in the whole deck out of 78 cards. This is the only card that speaks about something is going to happen safe okay for sure this is guarantee something will happen and i feel you will make it out of this dark night of the soul you are probably there yes i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not sugarcoating it i'm saying it the way it is so you have a chance to prepare yourself okay but you will make it out of it Surrender to whatever it is that life is giving you. And I want to pull one Oracle Angel card for you as well. Woo! A new beginning. Yeah, exactly. That fits so well, like perfectly. It couldn't have been in any other card. Zero. All back to zero. Start from scratch. Go through this dark night of the soul. Know that a new beginning is waiting for you on the other side. You are at the beginning of a wonderful journey. There's no need to have any fear. As guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way, you have unique gifts to offer the world. If you will just free yourself from the, what holds you back, New opportunities will present themselves if you truly believe. Okay, so card number zero is the Joker, right? So just keep on moving, you guys. Put one foot in front of the other, tiny little baby steps, even if it hurts, even if it's painful, even if it's, you know, exhausting and, yeah, I don't know, you know, draining you. Know that something new is waiting for you on the other side. There's always a silver lining. There is a light at the end of the tunnel and you're almost there, okay? It's waiting for you just around the corner, a new beginning, a completely new chapter. You are at the beginning of something wonderful, beautiful. So don't have any fear, okay? Have faith. And let go of whatever it is that holds you back. And I don't know what that is, right? I have no clue what that is for you personally. But let it go. Drop it. Skip it, okay? Cut it out. Cut it out. And remember the question that I had for you. Is this or that choice supporting me? And if you feel like the answer is no, don't do it. Okay? Don't do it. 
Having said this, I wish you a beautiful new week. Thank you so much for listening. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And also, you have to hit the uh, the little wiggly bell because otherwise, you won't get notified whenever I upload a reading. Okay, thank you so much. Peace out and namaste.